Blues fans, uh, welcome to Chatting Blues. Just thought I'd uh, come on and upload a quick video. Um, we're going to talk about Dan Sanderson. We're going to have a look at some training ground pictures, what featured uh, uh, a play, what a lot of people are kind of talking about on on, on social media. Um, we'll, we'll talk about the takeover with, with, with Tom Wagner. And we'll have a look at some latest news. The, the, the Dion Sanderson, uh, it looks like Blues have had two bids turned down, a 1.5 million and a, um, and a 2 million bid turned down. Uh, so, uh, you know, obviously Eustace is, is keen on him here and uh, hopefully we're going to put a 2.5 million bid in for him and get him really. Um, in my opinion, uh, we definitely need... Um, Dion Sanderson and someone of, of similar capability of, of Austin Trusty. You know, it's okay having Mark Roberts and um and Kevin Long, but they're more like a uh, clear it and head it out kind of uh, defenders. We need someone what's calm on the board, can play it out, you know, get it into Bielik or get out to Ethan Laird. Um so so hopefully that that you know we're obviously talking to it. In fact, I'll, I'll have a quick I'll have a quick look on. Um, I want to show you something actually because there was. Um, yeah, yeah. So the, someone had took someone apparently had took a picture of Dan Sanderson in in the ball ring. This was yesterday, about this time yesterday. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that is. 99% down, son. So that was in the ball ring. Whether he's cut, he's meant to be at um in Portugal pre season training with Wolves, but um, uh, you know, hopefully he, he's had his medical today and um, we're gonna sign him because we definitely need him. Look at, quickly have a look at some uh training ground pictures uh from, from Blues. Um, what have been published this week because there was um a player right so so this was taken on the training ground at uh, Henley and Arda. Uh, obviously there's Scott Hogan and and there is um Keisha Anderson, formerly of Blackpool on a free transfer. Uh he's he's not he, you know he's he's got no contract so it would be a free. Obviously, we just have to pay his wages, so we'll keep we'll keep an eye on him. He's in a kind of like an attacking midfield, I really. Um, so we'll keep an eye on him. And regarding takeover news, so it's a week a week today that uh, Blues will officially be took over by Tom Wagner and and uh, Knighthead, I think it is. Um, so it, it, you know we uh, would be expecting. I, I I um an interview of some sort on 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 the visions and goals of of the club going forward because <clears throat> you know the last I think everyone agrees with this, last six seven years have been absolutely uh, terrible you know especially the last uh, two or three years with the ground not opening um, and I'm going to show you some pictures actually of how the ground's looking uh, I think this was was posted today. So if I can just show you this, uh, if it comes up, one sec, right. Okay, here we go. So I don't know if you, anyone noticed then. Uh, sorry, sorry, right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I don't know if anyone anyone noticed then. Uh, the lower main stand um have got new seating in, and it looks to have come from the the lower Tilton. Uh, it looks quite nice actually. I don't know if you if if you didn't clock it first time, rewind, and uh, so all the lower. The lower seats in the main stand 
uh, have been refilled with with which looks like the the lower Tilton. Um, so a little little bit of a spruce up. Apparently, as well, I've seen pictures. Um, they do you know outside the cup? They're doing all of the um, you know the faces on, on, on the side of the cup. They're doing all that as well. So that's um, that's going to be look nice. You know, like a little bit of a spruce up and stuff like that. I think it makes all the difference either. We'll quickly have a look at um, some latest news on. Um, so this is posted by Alex Dickin. Um, this was only half an hour ago. This is on Tyler Roberts, our first signing of the season. Uh, so he's he's put uh, his his BCF's targets, learning from injuries, the importance of Craig Gardner and working under Bielsa. We'll just have. Uh, Dive into this quickly, Steve, because you can read this yourself, so I don't really need to. But, um, this is quite interesting at the start. Um, Tyler Roberts is exactly the type of signing John Eustace encourages to make. So that in itself, like, is um, is massive in my opinion because... Uh, we was also linked with Oliver, uh, Oli, Oliver Burke in the week, and it, he is a very similar kind of attacking midfielder, striker, whatever you want to call him. Uh, you know, the the press from the front, the very quick. Um, so whether he's looking for that type of, because I, I did read something as well um, in regards of he wants to press from the front, and we did see that last season. If anyone noticed. Especially at the start of the season, we press from the front, um, and we, and and we got on top of the team, got on top of the opposition. Um, so, but let, let me just have a quick look. What else it says about that? Because I haven't read that properly. Um, at at twenty four, Roberts is still young and has a hunger to succeed. As useless in season, has already set his sights on double figures. And Roberts intends to return to the Premier League where he's played 50 times for former employers, Leeds United. <clears throat> now, the majority of those games were uh, under Bielsa. Uh, under Bielsa, who, who, who's, you know, known for keeping his players extremely fit. So, um, and uh, I, I think the article goes on to say that um, before, before um, he started playing under Bielsa, he was a natural number nine, so um, you know whether Eustace just wants to put him up front as a number nine. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, in regards to like um, future content, uh, um, I will be going to the game on Saturday. Uh, we've got so little more, so I'll do a little a little analysis of the game, even though it's a pre season friendly. I'll do something, um, you know, like player ratings. You know, who looked fit, who didn't look fit. Who, who, you know that 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 sort of thing, and I'll and, and if it isn't me, it'll be someone else from from the team. Um, so on the first before the Saturday, we'll be having opposition um, content creators, um, and we'll be doing like a live a live thing talking about how they're getting on and and how we're getting on and um, and and just a a, a discussion basically, and um, <clears throat> then the then on the Sunday the day after the game or the Wednesday or the Thursday, um, we'll, we'll be doing the same, like player ratings and, and try and get people involved and stuff like that. That's just going forward on the channel. But um, hope everyone has a good day and keep right on.